Now it's time to paint the bulwarks. Filling in the nail holes all on the water line. So then we can paint the bottom paint along the water line. And then we just need to go along all the laps and scrape any of the tar underneath the laps and check and make sure that there's no seam showing, but it seems pretty tight. But yeah, do that and um, just double check all the holes and then bottom paint. And then probably fill holes again because some will show. So we were going to paint the bulwarks today, but it was a little too rainy and wet out, so we decided to skip that. Um, but you can see the difference in colors. Looks beautiful. Um, and I sanded and spot primed the cabin sides. So all the painting is ready to go, except for the bulwarks, which uh, I might do before we launch. Maybe not, who knows. We are going to put the new through holes in, which Pete had put a block. Here's the block in there for the backing of the uh, through holes. Now we just got to get a hole saw and hole saw the hole through. And for the one in the back for the engine, I'm going to drill those holes and then they'll be ready to mount. It's pretty exciting. Wearing a new pair of overalls. Of course, it's always the men's overalls with a flap. You gotta take the overalls off. Anyways, um, so a few updates. I think anybody who has, I think everyone should laugh a little more often. So this is a new sticker to add to the repertoire <laughs> of stickers on the bus. Uh, and the rudder's down. We've been filling holes all along this side that we can't get to and painting and just getting everything all prepped and ready to put the rudder back on. So I also went along and scraped all these laps and scraped where we couldn't grind the tar and got all the tar off the laps on this side. I got to do the other side. And I'm going to go along the water line and fill more nail holes. This is where the paint we brought down past the water line. At least we know where the water line is. Very obvious. Look at that. Paint of the bulwarks on the cabin side. She's looking pretty now. She's looking almost now we got to finish scraping the decks on this side. Finish scraping this. That'll get the seams looking nice again. I got, I think, up to here. And then I, I had so many blisters that I gave up for a little while and <laughs> moved on to a different project. Yesterday I was going along priming, spot priming, and I shouldn't have put the quart can on the deck and when I was walking along I didn't look down and I knocked it over damn it <laughs> so luckily this stuff's water based and we're going to be scraping along this side of the deck too because we still got to scrape tar but yeah and then lastly we got to put a shelf up underneath some of these spots all along the outside of the boat that the caulking is sort of falling through and repair any of those, and then we can go along with the uh, teak deck systems. And put that along the, just on the outer edge, we'll have the teak deck systems. Then everything else has the tar. This is how nice the teak deck systems look, man. It's sweet. I'm glad we did it to all the hatches, so those all have it. Um, it's also got it on the center of the center strip of the boat. Um, there's some along this, these two outer sides of the boat. And I think this is a tar seam. No, this is teak deck systems all along here too, along the carlin. And then all along here. Huh? 
Yeah, the Carlin. Through hole numero uno installed. Through holes are in. Because that looks more level coming in. And Pete is installing the bobstay fitting. And this way. On the repair that way's that going he did. downhill. This way is more level. With that. So he, there's that. screws that go into it, and then also these Watch out bolt things it. that peen over. I'm going to scratch that one. That's right. I'll sand it. There's one from the bottom. <laughs> I think you tried that one time and it didn't yeah. know. <laughs> I remember you trying it before. Up here, the deck box is back in place now, which I'm thinking of putting green on it somewhere, like a green stripe or a green somewhere to match the, uh, the stripe on the hole. Not sure what yet, but I've got this much here to scrape and then the aft deck. Cool. Yeah. That was a long time coming. Yay. <laughs> gotten this on camera because it's an obstacle course here, so it's really hard to sort of see good, what we're here. looking at as we're putting the tape on. But uh, we are putting the tape on a lap strike vessel. <laughs> film because we're kind of going to be back in the cave <laughs> back there. So if I could just set up the camera somehow to get the right angle. May I hold it here? Yeah. You go from where it ends there to where it begins there. Because you're just bringing that. You might want to even like know. put a piece of tape there so when you're rolling, you don't hit it. Yeah. Oh, well, probably uh, a brush. Maybe. Oh, okay. It's just bottom paint. Okay. But I can do that. <laughs> 